YouTube is it going? The Godows is back. Just before day two of the NFL draft, a lot of good players left. Going to run through my mock for day two and three here. I'm going to go pick by pick with you guys. Uh, live analysis for every single pick, uh, day two and three on our Twitter. So make sure you follow that. You also get links to our position rankings with hundreds of prospects with round grades, big board spreadsheet as well. Uh, so check us out there. Links in the comments for that. And our sponsors. Like, subscribe to notifications on. We have recent winners and losers video and a grade grading of every first round pick video. More of those types of videos to come. So join us for all that. Again, anything you're looking for, links pinned in the comment section. Um, yeah, I always make the graphics for this video on day two, but it always gets out like five minutes before day two. So uh, I'm going to use this PFF simulator and we can kind of go over multiple options here. So the Steelers are apparently getting a bunch of calls on and I got to keep checking my phone to see if they actually trade it. Not yet, um, but th they could get an appealing enough offer to move back. It's probably a tough decision, though, because there's some really good players on the board. Everyone's thinking it's got to be Joey Porter Jr., right? Because, you know, they could have went with him in the first round. That was a realistic mock, you know, before the draft started. And I know the fans really like Porter Jr. over there. They want A lot of them probably wanted him in the first round, so now they're dying to get him here. Uh, but they could take a trade. Uh, if it's appealing enough offer, somebody have to offer a lot. Maybe they have a bidding war there. It's very possible. Maybe they stay put and they don't even take Porter Jr. It's a possibility. Why is he dropping? You know, his negatives were, you know, he struggled against, you know, in-man coverage on in-breakers, you know, routes going across the middle of the field where he has to chase and he gets a little grabby. He's mainly a boundary corner, so that could be why he's dropping a little bit. So I think he fits is more of his own corner. I prefer him cover two or cover four. Cover three makes sense as well. But Steelers ran very, very, very little cover four. And they're mainly a man coverage team. But they add Patrick Peterson, who has his age, more of his own guy. Could be a cover two guy like he's been in recent years. I think Joey Porter can fit that. Um, we'll go Porter Jr., but I can definitely see them trading or even passing just because everyone, the draft's surprising, you know. Um, everyone's expecting it, but I really think they were strongly considering him in the first round. I think that was a legit option for them. Um, so I feel like they have to take him at 32, but they could trade the pick. I didn't want to do any trades because it's going to create a mess. I was thinking about some teams with the Steelers, you know, Titans, Raiders. I was thinking the Rams might have been going up in the first round from we heard that, but I think it was not for a quarterback. I think it was for like a Dalton Kincaid, somebody like that. Cardinals with the next pick, so many good options. Uh, I was thinking one option, could they just load up on offensive line and add the guard Osiris Torrance on top of Paris Johnson Jr.? Could see it, not going to do it, but could see it. Uh, I'm mainly looking at, well, and you could look at the edge rushers too. I really, uh, you know, I'd strongly consider Keon White, uh, but I'm looking at the corners here. I look at Cam Smith, I look at DJ Turner, I look at Julius Brents, but the guy I'm going to go with is Keely Ringo. Cardinals seem like kind of an upside, you know, rebuild type team. Ringo has a ton of upside here. The Lions, this was a tough one too because they were actually linked to Osiris Torrance a bit, you know, if they would have traded back from 18 or maybe even at 18 and they didn't take him and he's a plug and play starter, be a pretty good pick here. So I was thinking that Michael Mayer still on the board, pretty good value, pretty damn good value. Uh, and then I was flipping back and forth between ESPN and NFL Network last night, but I, I want to say it was ESPN. It was Schefter or Rapport, you know, one of the two. Whatever one I was watching, he came on the air and said, watch out for the Lions to go offense with both their picks. Maybe a tight end, maybe a running back. They end up taking the running back with the first one, and then they end up taking a linebacker with the next one. So they still didn't take that tight end, and you got a first-round tight end still available. So I'm going to go Michael, Michael Mayer for that reason, which would be a good pick. Colts, I, I keep seeing people say the watch for offensive line here. Uh, you know, Dwan Jones is available. They could go that route. Uh, Braden Smith, what do they do with him? Do they put him back to guard or they keep him at tackle? They're paying him tackle money. Uh, I hear Matthew Bergren if they want to put him at guard. You know, I heard a couple months ago, watch out for them to get a quarterback in the first, which we all knew would happen. And then watch for them to get a receiver for for that guy pretty early because they need receivers and they lost Paris Campbell. So I, I'm, I'm leaning receiver, and it just seems like a really good fit. And they have him kind of down the list here. Jonathan Mingo just seems like a really good fit here. 
So I'm going to go with Mingo. Watch out for those linemen, though. Uh, and then the Rams. Uh, the Rams, I, I, th I would imagine, have to, have to go with Osiris Torrance here. I mean, they could go any route because... I mean, best of it. I mean, they should go best available because uh, they have a lot of needs at this point because they're kind of selling uh, over there. Uh, so Brian Branch is best available, but I I think they'll I think they'll go with Cyrus Torrance because they they desperately need guard help and they get a pretty good guard there uh, at thirty six. And the Seahawks, the Seahawks, I like, um, you know, I think fans were disappointed. They didn't go D-line, whether it's edge or interior. So you look at the interior guys still available. Uh, and then you look and you look at the edge guys still available. Uh, yeah, this is tough. I would love, there's a couple guys I got in mind. If it's edge, I would love BJ Ajilari for them. If it's D-tackle, I would love Keanu Benton for them. I'm a big Keanu Benton guy and BJ Ajilari guy. Uh, I could see Keon White, though. I can definitely see Keon White. I was actually going to... I was actually going to give him Benton, but I, I, I'm i I'm, I'm going to go with Keon White. Some options there for the Seahawks. And uh, the Raiders. The Raiders! I heard... Um, maybe some smoke. Some buzz. I heard that they are... They really like Hand and Hooker. They really like Hand and Hooker. That's what I heard. Could it be BS? Maybe. I would like for the Titans to maybe end up with the Tennessee guy. That would be pretty cool. And I was kind of thinking that going into this. But am I going to follow the buzz? Uh, but they trapped, They drafted a pass rusher first. You know, their, their huge, massive needs were corner. It's not always about huge, massive needs. But um, corner and uh, in probably interior offense line. So they could go that route. The fans probably want that corner. Uh, looking to run more man coverage. So uh, if they were to go out of these corners, uh, maybe DJ Turner. I'm going to follow that that, uh, that buzz. Could be smoke. I'm going to give him hand and hooker. So Will Levis is still on the board here. Uh, the Panthers. Panthers. Uh, I kind of got some ideas here. I got some ideas. Uh, I do like Brian, Brian Branch is still sitting around. I don't think they go that route. Um, I don't think they go that route, but, uh, Cam Smith is a good zone corner. Azero Evero, you know, it runs a bit of cover four. He's a zone guy. Uh, they have another South Carolina corner there who was very good in JC Horn. So I do like Cam Smith. I do uh, any other corners that I like for them. Julius Brents, some good corners for 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 the Panthers. Uh, Corey Trice would be a fit as well. Um, this is tough. This is a tough decision because there's some edge guys that I like as well uh, for them. Uh, actually, that being one edge guy and BJ Ajilari, which they 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 need an, they need another pass rusher opposite of Brian Burns. Ooh, this is tough. Um, let's give him, let's give him BJ be a good pick right there. I heard they could trade back. I heard the saints could trade back as well. Something to keep in mind. I heard the people attaching quarterbacks to the saints. I don't think so. You just signed Derek Carr to a big deal. I don't think so. Um, uh, I, they know defensive talent, right? They value it, uh, no matter the spot, you know, so Brian Branch sitting there, they do have Tyron Matthew who plays a little bit in the slot, but I mean, you can use branch Matthew and Marcus May all at the same time. I mean, Branch has got to go by this point, right? It's not their biggest need, but man, he's he's just got to. He's got to. It's just such a good player. Like, he's a sure thing to be. Keep checking my phone because I'm trying to see if a trade happens. We got to get this video up, though. Uh, and then the Titans. Uh, we'll have the Titans go Will, Le Will Levis then. Uh, slides right to him. Some buzz about them liking him, even in the first round. That didn't happen. Uh, but, yeah. Packers. Packers go with man. We got some good words. You got Jalen Hyatt still available. Man, I could have went Hyatt for the Saints as well. Um, those tight ends are available. Um, I I think in this man, I've been mocking them Darnell Washington a lot. 
but I might be leaning toward Luke Musgrave now for them. But and look at those receivers. I don't know if they they're so picky about their receivers, and Hyatt is a. Uh, is not for everybody, so I don't know if I see that. And I think they are looking for a slot. So Josh Downs or High, it would make sense. I'm actually I'm gonna go. I've been mocking them watching a whole lot, but for some reason I'm feeling they could go with another Iowa guy in Laporta. I wouldn't love that pick. I like Washington Musgrave better. I'm gonna go Musgrave. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna go Musgrave. Uh, the New York Jets. Grab Dewan Jones. We thought they'd get a tackle on the first. They did not. The Falcons, uh, we thought maybe corner or edge in the first. Uh, they went neither of those. So trying to find that right fit. Uh, you know, looking at DJ Turner, Julius Brents, perhaps. And then Edge. Mm, Isaiah Foskey. Maybe more likely to go corner here. Or do they go neither? And do they go? I'm actually going to do that. They're going to, ooh, Matthew Bergen's still there too, which I, I'm not a huge Matthew Bergen guy, but there was some buzz about him going earlier. I'm going to go call Cody Malk. That's kind of what I'm feeling right now. So we'll go a little bit of a wild card there. Packers again. Do they go receiver? Do they go, I don't think they go safety. So maybe now they can grab. That maybe uh, I think they would prefer Downs over Hyatt. I like Hyatt a lot though, and then yeah, yeah, it's they could go offensive line. We're gonna we're gonna give him uh, we're gonna give him Josh Downs. Hyatt should be off the board, but he's not. He's not. Uh, Patriots I don't think would take Hyatt either, and they're looking for oh yeah, the Patriots would take Bergman probably in this scenario. Go oh, Matthew Berggren. I like Carter Warren better, to be honest. Uh, the Commanders, I think they could be looking at. In it, is there good interior guys left? We still got Joe Tipman available, which he could go earlier in this too. Uh, there's a t there's talk about him moving to guard. Uh, you know, maybe he's all the way down here for PFF. They take him and put him at guard. Lions, we had going Mayer. Uh, you know, they would have liked Tipman uh, if he's there. I'd watch out for that. Uh, we're gonna go. We're gonna go corner. We're gonna. They're gonna go DJ Turner. Uh, I do. Uh, I do like Brent's way better though. But do the. I don't think they would go Cam Smith. More of a zone guy. Uh, Brent's was more zone, but I love his upside of man. I think they would go Turner. Uh, then we got the Steelers again. So Steelers, Joey Porter Jr. They took Broderick Jones in the first round. Uh, this might be the time where my guy Keanu Benton maybe comes off the board finally. Uh, and then the Buccaneers. Don't really love the offensive lineman for them. Uh, they could grab Darnell Washington. They... Uh, yeah, it's kind of what I'm just kind of going through my head. You know, who, who they... You can go have Darnell Washington come off the board at this point. Uh, mm Now, that Steve Avila is still on the board here, which he can go earlier in this too. I think that's a good fit, actually. And then we'll have Darnell Washington to the Dolphins. You know, if they're ah, I don't know. They they like they like Smythe as a blocking tight end. Um, Carter Warren's all the way down here. I think Carter Warren could surprise people and go in the second rounds here. I can't believe the, t the tackles they got ahead. Um, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go Carter Warren here. Darnell Washington's still on the board though. Seahawks. We had the Seahawks getting uh, Keon White. Uh, they get John Michael Schmitz with this pick. It was more of an early third for him, but I guess we're getting kind of close. Uh, the Bears. They need D line so bad. Uh, we still got Jalen Hyatt available. This is ridiculous. Um, Adi Tommy about Utter Boraway, who I like more as a three technique, would go that route. Uh, for the Chargers, the Chargers can grab Darnell Washington. 
the Lions pick again. So they got a running back, a linebacker. Then we had them taking a corner in a tight end. Um, so they could be looking at interior D line. Do I don't really love what's there. Maybe Javon Dexter, uh, the edge rushers. A little Isaiah Foskey here for the Detroit Lions. Uh, the Jags could go. Uh, they could go corner. They could go interior offensive line edge. Still got Julius Brents on the board here. I was thinking they were gonna like. Uh, Derek Hall, though, too. Uh, I feel like they'll like Derek Hall. Uh, the Giants. I actually heard a specific. Uh, Jalen Hyatt's still there, though. But I heard they really like Tyler Scott. I have a third round grade on him, though. And then take, taking Scott over Hyatt is tough. Uh, I heard they like Scott. But if Hyatt is somehow there, how could they? How could they? You know, and Tillman's still there as well. Uh, we're going to go high it to the Giants, and then we're going to go for the Cowboys. Um, Rapport with an interesting video here that I might have to watch. Uh, the Cowboys go with a, they might go, I, I wouldn't love the pick, but they might go with Laporta or... I'm uh, going through my head, going through it. Could they go Charbonnet? Go Laporta, the Bills. Um, we still got some really good players on the board here. I'm actually going to go with uh, making sure, making sure. I might give, I might give them Tillman here. The Bengals got to grab one of these corners: Cam Smith, uh, Julius Brents. Uh, these would be really good value picks down here. Corey Trice, they could like a lot as well. Uh, I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with Brents. I would love that. Uh, the Bears, yeah, Bears are in a tough spot too because they need D line so bad. They got uh, I bore away, but uh, I like him more inside. They could use an edge guy. I mean, now the now the second round edge guys are just off the board, so that's a little tough. They could they could grab one of these corners. Yeah, Bears are they got might have to, they might have to move around a bit. They might have to move around a bit here. I don't think they go with no. Uh, I'm gonna go Corey Trice cover. I like him in that cover too. Eberflus cover too. I like that fit actually. Uh, the Eagles. The Eagles went with an edge and a D lineman. They might I know interior offense lineman starting to come off the board. Um, Cam Smith's still available. How could we have Cam Smith on the board here? And Drew Sanders is still available too. This is crazy. Uh, mm, they might have to go. Yeah, we'll go that route. Drew Sanders, and then we'll give the Chiefs Cam Smith. I mean, these guys have to go in the second rounds here. Uh, and the Bears at the top of the next round. Could they grab a center? They think they sat there. They still need an edge guy. Uh, uh, leaning with... Yeah, Tuli, Tuli, Pelotu here. It's kind of a risky, you know, boom or bust guy. I mean, not super boom, but... Uh, and the Texans picking again. We know they got that... They're going to need a receiver at this point. And then we got... Uh, yeah, some pretty good ones still available. Let's. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go. I'm gonna think I know where I'm going with. I'm making sure. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Rasheed Rice here for the Texans, and then the Eagles could go with. We got line. We have all defense. I mean, they need a. We got for offensive lineman. Uh, Chandler Zavala, then we could go with a 
Could go with one of those corners. Could go. We're gonna go. We're gonna go with Zavala. We're gonna go with Zavala here for the Eagles. Uh, then the Broncos picking for the first time. Could go with a edge or linebacker. We're kind of Trenton Simpson still available. Man, you see, like, the good, the good guys that are still available are going to push down other great guys. That's why day two is going to be a lot of fun because because of the because of the uh, absolute uh, reaches in round one, thank you to those teams, got going to keep pushing good guys down more and more here. So uh, I wonder if Simpson really fits Vance Joseph's defense, but I didn't think Isaiah Simmons did from Clemson either, kind of a similar style player here. And they took him. So we're going to go Simpson. This would be an absolute steal. Uh, could the Eagles go Simpson instead of Sanders? Possibility. Uh, but then the Broncos again. Picking again. Uh, I was kind of liking Antonio Johnson. There's a possibility. And... We're going to go that route. Antonio Johnson. Rams picking again. We had them getting an interior offensive lineman. Now they could grab anything. Really anything. Um, I think they'll like Tyler Scott still available. Yeah, they'll like Tyler Scott. That's a good fit. Uh, and the Raiders, they better get a corner now. We got uh, Darius Rush would be a pretty good fit. Uh, we're going to go with Darius Rush. It'd be a pretty good pick pick and fit there. Saints, we have him taking the last one. We had him taking Brian Branch. They still need an edge guy. Is there one worthy of the pick here? Uh, they could like Yaya Diaby there. Yeah, I think that could that could be an interesting pick. The Titans. Titans, that we they took an offensive lineman, quarterback, and yeah, they're going to need a they're going to need a receiver. And leaning towards Marvin Mims here for the Tennessee Titans. Texans. So they got the quarterback. They got their pass rusher. And they got their receiver. Some linebacker help. Henley seems like a D'Amico Ryan's option there. Good guy in coverage as well. Browns make their first pick. The Browns could trade up. I could see that. Um, D-line. Linebacker. Um, uh, take a look at these D line and yeah, they could go, they could go Javon Dexter here. We're going to go that route Falcons. We had, they, they still need corner and edge. I went a little bold last time. Do I love the edge guys available? They might like McGuire a little bit. Zach Harrison might have to go with one of these corners though. Um, They would go Tyreek Stevens in here for the Falcons. Patriots got that corner and they got a tackle. So now we are looking at receiver. A um, couple options here. Couple options. Uh, Michael Wilson, Jaden Reed. I think. Th go Michael Wilson. For the Patriots, Rams picking again. A little maybe Zach Charbonnet coming off the board here. Uh, and then the Packers picking again. They have so many picks that I forgot. They, I know they got a pass rusher. Then we got um, yeah we got him a tight end and receiver. So could be looking for maybe a strong safety, maybe another receiver, D line, offensive line. Mm. I like Wanya Morris a lot. Do they go for the upside there? You might be able to think that. Yeah, I would like that pick. Go Wanya Morris and maybe get maybe not start him right away. Work with him a little bit. He's got a ton of upside there. He's got like the the, the traits you're looking for a former five star guy. Uh, Colts. Now they could go for offensive line as well. Possibly interior. Do I love the guys that are there though? Oh, uh, some. Uh, the guy that's been getting a lot of buzz is Scruggs. Whipler's there as well, though. Um, 
I'd watch out for Scruggs going earlier than what's being talked about. Ryan Kelly was talked about, maybe potentially being traded. Um, you know, Scruggs can play center or guard. Same with Whipler as well. Uh, let's see the tackles that are available. Yeah, there's some tackles there. I think they would like Jalen Duncan. Just kind of a feeling there. We're gonna go. We're gonna go Duncan. Uh, Steelers. Uh, let's see. Edge. Herbig's most likely gonna play off ball, but do they take a shot in Herbig, the Wisconsin guy, to play? Keep him at edge. It seems early. Seems early for sure. Um, yeah, I don't really like those guys that are there for them there. Uh, could they add one of these safeties? They could be the team to take Mar Marte Mapu. We're gonna we're gonna do it. Mapu to the Steelers. I like uh, I like his upside. He's a sneaky player, sleeper guy for day two. Cardinals, Cardinals got so many picks as well that I already forgot. I know they they took, uh, or did they have that many picks? I guess they got. So they got. They're gonna need that pass rusher or defense alignment now. The pass rushers really drop off after a certain point. So do the D linemen. Uh, yeah, that's tough. So if you. Uh, Get to a certain point, you're kind of shit out of luck. So there's a big drop off. I know a guy like Byron Young's really good. I don't think he's gonna fit Gannon's defense though. They might, they might just grab their their center now, which they need pretty badly. And Luke Whip Whipler there, so they go that route. Bucks. We're gonna go with. We, they took their D lineman, who we haven't taken in the last one. Steel. They had the uh, Steel Vila would be a good pick there. He could go earlier in that. Um, but they get him for offensive line, and then we're we could be looking at Tucker Craft still available. Um, trying to think defense, and so we might we might go. Or is there a slot guy? Antonio Johnson would be a really really good fit. He is off the board. Uh, I think Jamie Robinson would be a good fit for that role as well. Tony Johnson would be a great fit. We're going to go with Tucker Craft, though, here. Seahawks. So they took a corner, and they took a receiver in the first round. In the second round, we had them taking Keon White, edge guy, and a center. Looking for a D tackle. Again, there's really a – you could add that nose tackle, though. You could – you could. Uh, and Siaki Ika. We'll go that route. Dolphins. We had taking a tackle. Could they? Hmm. Could they go running back? I don't think so. They signed their guys back. There's some talk about them maybe going for Cook, Dalvin Cook, if he's available. So maybe maybe no um, running back here. Um. Linebacker, they only signed David Long to a one-year deal. I like Overshone a lot. Mm, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go Demarvion Overshone. I'm a big fan of his. Chargers, where we have them getting receiver and tight end, so they better. All right, they can go right, go all offense. They can go running back now. Uh, a chain with uh, Spiller back together. Now I think they would. Uh, ooh, I'm a big, I'm a big Israel Abanacanda guy. But would they go him here? I'm a big Kendra Miller guy. Would they go with him? I could see them going with Ty J Spears as well. Mm, good options. Good options there. Trying to think which one they would go with. I actually think they would go with Kendra Miller out of the three. So Miller to the Chargers. Ravens. Ravens took their receiver. Probably looking for a corner at this point. Really starting to run thin. A lot of slot, a lot of slot corners. They had Hamilton dominating the slot at the end of last year. Um, there's some sleepers that I really like in here. Could they go Garrett Williams? 
I'm sli- I like Luter a lot. Luter Jr. Um, it might seem early. A lot of people probably don't even know who he is, but I like him. Um, sneaky pick could be offensive line or running back even. Uh, that's tough. D line, nah. Who's left from the interior? Mm. They are trying. You know what? I might go a little bold. They are trying to run a little bit more zone than they used to in the past. Riley Moss, its own guy. I like his chances at playing safety as well. Uh, they did move on from Chuck Clark, who moved around a bit. Totally different player, but and they could just use him at corner because he was good there. We'll go Riley Moss. Uh, the Vikings picking again. Yeah, corner. Wildcard could be running back if they're looking to move on from Dalvin Cook, but they did, they did sign Madison back. We're probably thinking corner here. Is there... Or they could get Martin, who could be in the slot. Um, for a man coverage guy here. You know who's a really good fit, actually? And there's a couple good man coverage guys, but I don't even know where... They have Terrell Smith all the way down here. Um, I could just really see Terrell Smith, like a blitzing guy. You can almost see him at corner or safety. It really could fit Flores' scheme there. Um... I'm gonna, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do it. I think there's better corners, probably like slightly better, but I think I like the fit a lot there. Jags, we had the Jags taking an edge rusher last time, and they already took the offensive lineman. So, looking at corner again for, yeah, once again, uh, they could take if they want that slot guy. I kind of like his upside at safety, which they could use that as well, Martin, or. Uh, Leaning that, we're leaning, we're leaning that route. Or you can take a look at the safeties, and there's a lot of slot guys here. Um, uh, both Anthony Johnson Jr. and Jamie Robinson to me are just big time slot guys. Uh, Johnson could play outside corner if you need him to. Robinson could play safety if you need him to. Uh, but I'm going to go back to the corners, and I'm going to go with Quan Martin here, and then the Giants. We had him take. They took a corner. We had him taking a receiver. They need an interior offensive line pretty bad. Is there a good... Those decent guys here. They could use that. I keep hearing Scruggs can go earlier than people think. We might go We might go Scruggs here. Uh, and then we got the Cowboys. Who do we have the Cowboys take? And one I'm forgetting. Uh, Laporta. So D-tackle and tight end. Uh, could they get that? Could they get that running back? Ban of can has got to go. That's my number three running back. But Tajay Spears, and I love Zach Evans as well. Mm. I don't know if they would take either. Any, I think they might look for like more of a short yardage guy. If they go that route. Do they shock the world and go Roshan Johnson? I totally can see it. We're gonna, or Dwayne McBride. Hmm. I feel like they would rather have one of these two than the guys that are just better, to be honest. Um, they go Johnson. A little bold there. Uh, Bills, they took a tight end, and we had them taking a receiver. Better focus on defense. Better, you know, the linebackers just haven't really been there, though. That's the problem. Maybe they would have to force one earlier just, just to get one. Uh, but could look at corner. Could look at look at O line too. Tough tough situation, tough position. Um, mm. Look at D line. Man, the Bills are. That's a tough situation here. They reach for a linebacker. It's early for Toho, Toho for sure. I'm not super high on him, but I can just I could see the fit. Ah, I don't know what to go with this. Is where I'm like kind of stumped right now. Interior off, going back to the interior offense lineman. They could like Bradford. They could like City Sow. 
Voorhees is injured. I like Gaines a lot. Um, I don't really see the value here, though. Uh, we got there. There's some there's some tackles left. I mean, uh, yeah, these guys are still available. I wasn't a big fan of Steen. He's getting some buzz, but I I don't like his tape. Like I got about fourth round. Um, Saldivere could actually play. There's a lot of upside for him at guard, and he also could play tackle. That could make some sense for the Bills. So actually, there is some good value there with the tackles still available. So, I mean, not crazy, but uh, and the Bengals. Could definitely grab one of those guys as well. Uh, they could go Steen. Not a big Steen guy. Um, they might go that route though. They might. They might do it. Panthers. Now we can, t if they're available, good ones are available here. Corners. Um, Uh, could go, could go Garrett Williams there. Cardinals got to recap for myself. They still need an edge guy pretty bad, right? Um, yeah. Where were we right there? Um, Zach Harrison. I don't like how tight he is. He's fast, but he's so tight. McGuire is better in my opinion but uh, i could see them going harrison uh for that fit there and the chiefs receiver perhaps nathaniel dell let's do it cardinals again uh maybe they grab actually you know who i whoa 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 uh <laughs> This is a really good fit here. Like, I don't really love the pick, but I'm like, it's it's uh, Jair Brown. It's a really good fit for Gannon's defense, and there's something going on with Boo to Baker, perhaps. I just going off pure fit there, um, like coverage wise, scheme wise, there. Just kind of a gut fit feeling. I don't know if they take him because they really need a safety, but so many picks here, they go that route. Commanders. Uh, who do we have them taken last time? I think it had to be an interior offense line. Yes, it was. And they took that corner already. And we could be looking at uh, somebody that can play. Ooh, give me Jamie Robinson. I like that. I, I like the. I like Anthony Johnson Jr. There too. Those are pretty good fits right there. A couple of the sa safeties. So these guys are more slot guys. I know Robinson. You know, could play safety. Um, I mean Robinson with the Commanders. I kind of like that fit. The Browns, we had taking Javon Dexter last time. Now they could take a – they could grab another receiver. Could go linebacker. Don't love who's available. Do they grab another receiver? They could. I'm a huge boot day guy. And they do it. Let them make them do it. I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm a big fan. He's my number nine receiver. So, uh, but I don't know where he's going to go. Some buzz about him going way later in that, but he's just super talented. So I like him with the Browns 49ers. I heard they were all over corners doing, doing homework on corners. Um, yeah, there's, um, Clark Phillips more of this. They could, they, they could, they could double down on corners here. They really could. Uh, more of a slot guy than an outside guy and an outside guy. Uh, Phillips got to come off the board at some point here, so we'll go we'll go that route. Raiders, did we have him going? We had to have him going corner. Oh, yeah, Rush was a good fit. Um, interior offensive line for them. I think they would like Bradford. Um, let me take a look at the tackles real quick. Um, yeah, here's a couple guys that could move to guard. Braden Daniels, Jordan McFadden. Those are possibilities. John Simpson was that guy that they were going to move from Clemson that they were going to move to guard and he didn't work out. Uh, but I'm kind of, I, I think they would like Bradford's the big, big body, you know, big, in, uh, big run blocker there. Uh, that that's where I'm leaning. That's where I'm leaning there. Um, the 49ers 
could they, yeah, they could take a tackle. They could take, oh, I think they'll like Freeland there. Seam Richards is a good one, too. He can run block. Uh, they would they, they would like him a lot, too. It's a little safer of a pick. I'm going to go Freeland. Just gives me the McGlinchey vibes. And he's not as strong as him. But And then the Niners again. We got still got Sidney Brown on the board. We still got Jordan Battle on the board. We still got some really good running backs. Got a, my guy, a band of Kanda still on the board. I mean, the Niners and Byron Young still on the board. Just the reach of picks push these guys down. I mean, they might just have to go with, uh, I mean, they got so many running backs. <laughs> they got so many running backs. You might just have to go with a band of Kanda there in that Shanahan offense. But they got McCaffrey, Elijah Mitchell. Mm, they love getting their running backs, though. They could grab another corner, but. Go Abana Kanda. There it is. There's the draft. Very unpredictable. This is the actual first round. Um, more unpredictable than the first round, which was expected to be super unpredictable. I think we did pretty well though in the first round. But I, I really, I mean, there's a lot of these are gonna, usually the day two mocks, just kind of get an idea of who teams could look at. I like that we that we use this to show different, multiple different scenarios because some of those scenarios, I think, given the different candidates I gave for each team, I think they, those were very, very realistic on who they could take. But um, yeah, there's going to be a bunch of surprises. There's teams that are going to reach still, and that's going to help out other teams. There's teams that are going to go purely off need, like idiots, and um, you know, and, and uh, which sometimes it's okay, but and, and that could help out other teams as well. So uh, expect the unexpected today. Uh, we got a uh, live analysis during day two and day three. So join us on Twitter tonight for all that, uh, and then I'll have links on there for you guys for uh, best available big board, and then my position rankings. It's Bunch, it's a million players and not a million, hundreds of players with round grades on there um, as, as well. So, so uh, yeah, you can check that out. Uh, check out those recent videos. Links pinned in the comments for anything you're looking for. That's going to do it. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.